The fastest and simple way to pass a prop fam challenge. Now these are an up and coming thing in the industry, man. These prop firms are flying out like there's no tomorrow. There's life changing times ahead of us. You know, there's life changing times. If you've got a two, four, six, eight million pound account, you are chilling, you are chilling. You're making a percent, but the catch 22 is that you have to pay high sums of money for these accounts. Now, instead of you depositing five to hundred dollars to a thousand dollars, you're now putting 500 to a grand in a funded account challenge, which you might even fail. Now, this is the, this is why I'm here to help you. Guys, if you are rushing these challenges, you will not pass. You don't need to be told that, you guys already know. But it's the psychology, it's the emotions, it's the rush that you can't control. Some people can't just handle it. They just can't psychologically handle the pressure of taking these challenges. But what is the pressure? And it's basically changing your psychology into a different mindset and a different way of thinking. Now, if the way I think, there's no pressure with these challenges, they're easy as. If you can't make 10%, then there's, you're not a trader. If you can't pass these challenges, you are not a trader because you might be over-risking, you might be FOMOing in, taking too many losses in a day. There's too many, I see too many mistakes. I see too many mistakes. Like I'm passing people left, right, and center. I've got to hide their name, but I shouldn't say their name actually. But, you know, these people are getting funded. One's a nurse, the other guy, probably just a student something like that and they're getting funded that's you know i passed them okay so i actually pass them because people struggle that's why you got to join up the free trade see how i can pass your prop firms but risk management controlling your emotions staying positive not losing your head it doesn't matter if it takes two three weeks to pass it you don't pass it overnight which is why some prop firms are doing no min trading days that guys is a gamble people trying to pass within the first day trying to pass, sorry, within like the first hour even, first 30 minutes. If you've got the trade up there and it's there to take, you take it. If not, you don't. But people try and pass it quickly, which means they rack up failed challenges after failed challenges and then they're in a loss. They think it's a scam and that's it. A lot of people aren't getting payouts. I'm telling you that fact. People aren't getting these payouts. They can't psychologically handle the pressure. Yes, they might get funded. Great, that's perfect. They're funded. Happy days. You passed phase one and phase two, but you've also got phase three. No one mentions about phase three. Phase three is the funded account. So yes, you passed phase one, phase two, but have another one. Have another phase, because when you fail that, you don't even get a refund. Now, this is the whole concept of these companies, okay? That is the whole concept. They want you to fail, they don't want you to pass. Passing, getting withdrawals is when we are winning. And I can just go back on experience. First FTMO, 400K, 30 plus K withdrawal. Do you know how much that sorted me out? All my failed challenges passed successfully. All my failed challenges made the money back. And that's why it's game changing. Now, I wouldn't be saying go into debt for these challenges. Obviously not. You need to pick the best ones. You need to figure out, take the trials. You need to take the trials, focus on risk to reward. Don't hold over your SL. You know, have a psycho uh, psychological SL. And in the end of the day, in the end of the day, you all have to just be careful with taking the challenges, which is why your boy TJ is uploading every single day on YouTube every other day. I'm not blowing every day on other channels too. Subscribe, notifications turned on, join up the free trades. I want to get 10,000 people in that free trade, so make sure you join up. And yeah, we're taking over, as I said, daily breakdowns from my channel. And if you want to pass, you follow my signals. And I will teach you risk management in terms of you have a 20 pip SL, you move it 10 pips, so you're only risking 0.5%. When you're in profit, you risk 0.5%, so then you get a free retake after the challenge is in profit and you might not hit the max days. The max days get hit, sorry, you have to retake the challenge. Some prop firms don't even allow that. So you've got to read terms and conditions. Now, these challenges aren't hard. This morning, one trade hit, one trade loss, 4% in profit. I need 10%, I need 10%. I'm already at 4%, that's another 6%. I can't fail the challenge anymore because I'm not gonna go down into minus. You know, I'm going to be risking 0.5%, 0.75% and just gradually build. Within the next week or two, it will be passed and that's all you have to do. It's been your boy TJ. Like and subscribe. 
2023 is coming. Let's go. All right, look at this. Ready? Bang. Tight SL. We got 1661 SL. 50. Now it's 10 pip SL. Look at the risk to reward. What's this trade? 20%. We caught the buyers explained in the last video subscribe because i'm uploading so much content and i'm going to teach you all how to trade for free now previous highs to lows so we're going to see some sort of rejection to the downside from this area here that's exactly where we was hoping from from the body to the wick right here now we've caught that rejection we're in sales right now looking at the buyers we caught from over tokyo into london open huge buyers and this is clear indication. These buys right here, that is clear, clear. Liquidity grab slash fake out. Now, 15 minutes in, spike up, touch, now selling off. And we're going to pass sell the bodies, flying into profit. We've got a 10 pip SL in here. We got 7%, but including a loss today, and we closed for 5%. That's 4%. But let's just say we're up 3% right now and we've got this trade running. This trade's running in 3% as well, so 6%. You have to use tighter sales but good risk to reward. We was already in this trade. We took it at 16.58. It sold down and then SL entry. We got tapped out but then sell limit triggered. Sell limit at 16.59 and 16.60.50. We caught two sales. Now we're holding. There will be an insane profit right now. Pretty much able to pass. The funded challenge account these challenge accounts to actually get funded it's so simple stuff where you know on the one h price is going to pull back to at least create one two three touch head shoulder head pattern great one h rejection we've got about 37 minutes until this hour closes which means we're going bearish probably pulling back down 1650 another 68 pips let's say so it's a huge trade you know in a trade like this right now bang how much are we run in? Plus 3.6%. This is 4%. And you only need to get 10%. Right now, running plus 4%. And we've got two pairs open, risking 1% each position because we're up in profit. So basically, anyone that's in my free trades would have actually just passed like 100%. And this sort of trade here, 18 to 1, is where you're looking for. You know, price should continue to sell down, but worst case, lower high, high, lower highs there. So you know that we're going to go and see a rejection over there, here, and then it will come down to there. Free touch, and then maybe impulsive back up to the 1678 for further retest up here. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much what I'm thinking. I just wanted to show you guys how easy trading is. Join up the free trades, click on the TJFX bot if you want my goal group. It's risk to reward. You've got to learn how to see market direction overall to be successful. Free touch, we're, con we're still in sales, one, two, three sales. As you can see, I trade all the time and we're absolutely killing the markets. But um, yeah, we're just going to see this continue to push below, make new lows and sell to 1650. Catch the buyers now with the sales. Sells all the way back down from New York session. Then New York at about half one to about 3 p.m. You'll see the real market direction. And that's as simple as it is. It's your boy TJ. Appreciate the support, traders. Hit me up, follow me, check out my Instagrams, everything like that. You know, you don't want to be missing out on this shit. People can't trade like I can trade, so don't miss out on this because I'm on that grind. A quick example of this trade right now is that I just closed it for very nice profit. Plus 6% I just closed it for. Now, I had two positions open. That's over 10%, plus me 3% this morning. That's plus 13% in a Monday morning, and it's not even 12 yet. It's not even 12, it's still a.m. Therefore, I can put on the screen right here, people passing left, right, and center in my free trades from my signals, and they're not even paying. Now, it's risk management. It's managing your risk, managing the SL, the psychology. I'm not emotionally attached to trading. I closed it out, secured the profits. Then I go again another day, wait for another setup to take place, and then repeat the cycle, you know, and that's why I'm going to start uploading more videos because it's routine, it's discipline, and yeah, just update everyone on my journey. Because I, I always do stuff like this, but never update it. You can go look at the free trades. Yeah, there's going to be SLs, it's inevitable, but there's so much profit. There's 13%, 14%, 15% trades. Now, subscribe, like the content, and yeah, man. If you want to pass, you got to risk manage.
got to just stay disciplined and obviously hit your trades.